Here's how to search for and assign zones while in Base Manager. First, open a browser and go to baselineapps.net. Log into your account and select the Base Manager icon on the left-hand side. Notice on the Quick View tab that there are no zones set up, so go to the Devices tab and click on Zones. Here we see the same thing. No zones are currently assigned. Click on the Assign Bicoder tab and wait for the controller to find all the devices that are connected to your wire path out in the field. Once the controller has completed the search, the drop-down list is populated with the unique serial numbers of all the devices connected to your wire path. I'll look for serial number E283492 and assign that to zone 1. The reason I selected this particular serial number is based off of the list I created when I installed the bicoders in the field. Bicoders come with the pre-assigned serial number and two extra stickers with that same number. I used one sticker on a list with the description of the location. I'd suggest using the other sticker on an as-built plan. According to my list, Zone 1 and serial number E283492 irrigate the northwest rotor turf, which are full circle heads. In the description section, I'll enter just that, Northwest Rotor Turf, comma, full circle. Now I'll find serial number VA0003 and assign it to zone 2. This description will be Southwest Rotor Turf, full circle heads. I'll continue with zone 3 and all the others until the list is complete. On this list, each sticker has a description after it, but there are a few descriptions without stickers. All single zone bicoders start with a letter D. This is a two-zone bicoder with serial number E044641. All two-zone bicoders start with the letter E. Lastly, all four-zone bicoders start with the letter Q. This two-zone bicoder has the white wire as the common, the orange wire corresponds with serial number E044641, and the yellow wire corresponds to serial number E044642. Only the serial number E044641 shows on the sticker though. Once you've entered all the information for the zones, press save and it'll synchronize this information with the controller. Those assignments and zone descriptions now show in the base manager list and on my controller. The description that says Northwest Rotor Turf Full Circle shows every time I log into base manager and when I look at my controller. That's very helpful when I'm out at the controller programming or manually running a zone. Assigning master valves is a nearly identical process. Select Devices, Master Valve, and then Assign Master Valves. Allow the controller to search for the master valve serial numbers, and then select the serial number from the dropdown. This particular master valve is D081344, assigned to Master Valve 1. I'll use the description of Front Street Master Valve 2 inch. The next master valve I'm using is VE0002 with the description of West Side Master Valve 3 inch. Once it's saved, the assignment and descriptions are synchronized with the controller. Assignments for flow meters look exactly the same. Select Devices, Flow Meters, and Assign Flow Meter. Assign a serial number, add a description, and then save. If you don't have Base Manager set up yet, or never plan on connecting to Base Manager, this process can be done at the controller, except for naming zones and devices. We'll look at this process in another video.